What is up, Ladder Climbers? This is Antoine Wade, and in today's video, I will be discussing five great jobs for management information systems majors. Welcome back to the Black Heights channel, where we talk about all things related to the skill development in the IT sector. Now, before we get to the video, do me a stone cold favor and stump that like button as it helps us grow the channel. All right, guys, in this video today, we are going to be discussing five great careers for management information systems majors. Now, let's get to the video. All right, ladder climbers, I want to show you all a great resource that is pretty awesome that gives you career paths for management information systems majors now on this channel i think you guys already know that i think management information systems is a fantastic major i think it is one of the best majors out there it gives you so many different career paths that you can go down it gives you so many job possibilities and you can see that from this career path chart that Zipia, Zipia, the website, Z-I-P-P-I-A, which is a career expert uh, website that gives you the different career paths that you can go down as a management information systems major. Let's look at information technology specialists. You can then move over to assistance administrator, then an information technology consultant, then a senior consultant of information technology. You can take the path of going down the help desk and you can become a technical support specialist, a business analyst and a senior technical business analyst. You can go down the path of becoming a help desk specialist and becoming a systems administrator. You can choose the software engineer route by doing a software engineering intern, becoming a software engineer, becoming a project manager, and then becoming an engagement manager or program manager or director, whatever it is that you choose to go down. These are multiple career paths that you can choose. I chose the software engineering, went into project lead slash project management and then went into management and became a you know director and vice president of customer success and things like that. But there's multiple career paths that you can choose as a management information systems majors. And this website does a very fantastic job of capturing multiple different career paths that you can choose. A lot of you ask me the question a lot about what is it that I can do with MIS major? Well, this is all that you can do with MIS major and more. These are many of the possibilities. And if you dig down and drill down into each one of these, it's going to tell you exactly what you need to know, the different skills that you uh, need to acquire and so forth in order for you to get to those positions. Fantastic resource, fantastic, fantastic resource for you guys that you can use. Check it out, Zapia dot com zapia.com type in management information systems major now let's talk about the jobs the best jobs that you guys can get as a management information systems majors where they are and what their starting salaries are as well as the job openings that exist so at number one is the business analyst guys and the business analyst is no more than what you would consider to be a domain expert of the organization that they are actually in. They are the type of people that looks at technology processes and the people and to help assess what technology or process can actually do to improve the organization that they are in. And the starting salary for a business analyst is about $55,000 a year. And there are about 64,000 job openings that are out there. And second on the list would be a data analyst. And a data analyst is no more than a management consulting proposing new ways for managers to improve the efficiency of the organization, whether that is by cutting costs or growing uh, profits or increasing revenues and things like that. And you see that a data analyst, the starting salary is about $51,000 a year. And there are about 63,000 job openings uh, for that position as well too. And one thing I would also say guys is this, it is important for you to do internships. 
Because if you look at a lot of these analyst roles, you will not become an analyst if you don't have an internship, data analyst internship, right? Then you can become a data analyst. I had a lot of questions on this channel about uh, becoming an analyst and there not being uh, any entry level positions opening. Well, you need to do internships. If you haven't done an internship your sophomore year or your junior year, or your senior year, you're shooting yourself in the foot for employment, and there are not gonna be very many companies that's gonna hire you because you've had the opportunity to gain skills in certain areas, but they may look at you as not taking that opportunity and taking your employment serious, which needs to be very important for you if you choose to go to college. And the third career is the software engineer. Guys, this is the path that I took. Of course, they were not paying $65,000 a year when I came out of college in 2005. My first salary was about $48,000 a year. But you can see that the job openings is $115,000. This is an area that is going to continue to explode and they pay very well. And some of the cool cities that you can actually live in uh, as a software engineer is San Francisco, which is one of my favorite cities, New York, as well as Austin, where I currently live today. But software engineers are software developers and they're responsible for computer programs and making sure that applications uh, can help the overall organization and, and you know create applications to make the world better. And then you have an analyst, which is no more than a data analyst or a business analyst. And they can you know take the form of many different names but they typically are consultants that helps managers in the organization improve efficiency by recording data of processes or people or technology and giving feedback on how they can actually improve it. And the last on the list is a business analyst internship, which is very important. If you want to become any sort of analyst, you should be looking for internships and the starting salary is about $48,000 and there is a job openings of about 50,000 out there. So guys, try to get an internship uh, as well as the top locations are some cool cities, New York, Chicago, and Houston, Texas. But again, they typically are consultants that help the organization improve um, with technology uh, by using people as well as technology and processes and they give feedback to management and other folks in the business to improve the overall organization. So this is the top five we're rounded out. Again, this is coming on behalf of Zapia, which I vouch for in this, um, this video because of the fact that I have looked at what they have listed here as well as with the Bureau of Labor Statistics and it is in line as well as these career paths that you see up here is or are very similar to the career paths that I've taken in my personal career and that I know others who are MIS majors have taken in their careers or who wasn't MIS majors who've taken their career as well too. So wonderful resource that you guys can use to learn about the different career paths that you can take as an MIS major or a CIS major or a software engineer major to find out more about, about what you can do throughout your career. All right, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and leave me a comment on any of these points and topics. Also, if you like this sort of content, do me another favor and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be alerted when I drop that new content. And until next time, y'all, peace.